In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Insight Analyzer software on your Windows computer. Now, this will work on Windows 11 as well as Windows 10 and previous versions. I'm doing it on Windows 10. Now, I should also mention that this software will only run on a Windows PC or a Mac computer running a Mac OS X. So it will not run on an Android device or a tablet or an iOS device like an iPad or an iPhone or a Samsung phone or something like that. So it's not a mobile app. This is a desktop application that will run within Windows operating system and within a Mac computer. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now you have probably landed on one of two pages. This page here is where you can download Insight Analyzer and also a page that looks like this. So depending on which page or which way you got here, I'll show you how to install it. So on this page, what you need to do is you need to put in the email that you purchased with when you purchased the software or got access to it. You put it in there, you hit get downloads, and once you do that, you should see this appear down here and you have three versions here. Um, you got two versions that work on Windows and one that works on Mac. So if your Windows is a 64-bit Windows operating system, I recommend using the 64-bit. Otherwise, you can use the 32-bit. In fact, you can actually run the 32-bit on a 64-bit as well. Now, if you don't know what your operating system is, it's very simple to find out. Down the lower hand corner of your computer, just type in settings and you'll bring up your settings window. And this is Windows 10. It'll do the same thing in Windows 11. Click on system and then at the bottom, click on about. And then right here, it'll tell you whether or not it's 64-bit or 32-bit. But most computers nowadays are 64-bit. So I'm going to go ahead and download the 64-bit and I'm using the Google Chrome. So if you're having difficulties downloading it with Google Chrome, um, you can also try the Firefox browser or Microsoft Edge or even the Brave browser. So I'm going to click this green button right here, download it. And I'm going to download it to my documents and downloads folder. Now, if you don't know where to put it, you can also just put it right on your desktop if you'd like. And we're going to be downloading it as a compressed zip file. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And you can see up here, if I click this little drop down, I'll be able to see the folder. So if I click the folder, it'll bring me to where I installed it. So the setup file is contained inside of this compressed zip file. So I got to get that compressed file out of this compressed. I got to get the setup file out of this compressed file. That's what I'm trying to say. So what you can do, there's a couple ways in Windows. You just right click select extract all it'll create another folder named the same as the file as a zip file and then inside of that folder you have the setup file now another way to do it is you can actually just double click that zip file and it'll take you right inside but if you attempt to try to install this inside of the zip file it probably won't work so what you want to do you can right click copy and now you can paste this to wherever you want so let's go back into the downloads I can right click, paste, and that's another way to extract the setup file. So once you got it extracted, now we got to install it. It's very simple. All you do, first try right clicking and then selecting run as administrator. Now, if you don't see run as, as administrator, just click open, or you can just double click, left click on the actual exe file. But let's go ahead and right click and run as administrator. Now the first time you install it, you'll see this little warning, but don't worry, I design all my software from scratch. I develop it myself, so I make sure there's nothing wrong with it. I always scan everything before I put it online, so there's no viruses or malicious stuff going on or anything like that. So rest assured, my software will not harm your computer in any possible way. So just click that little link there and say run anyway. And the installation should come up here and start. Then here you want to select I accept and go next. And this is where you want to install the software. You can leave it as default. If you want to install it somewhere else, like say on your desktop or an external hard drive, you click this browse button and install where you want to go and select the folder, go next. Select this if you want to create a shortcut on your desktop, which is pretty handy. Click next and then install. And then you have to launch you can select to launch the Insight Analyzer as you click Finish. So it should automatically start the software. Now the first time you install the software, you're going to be asked to enter your email address 
the same email address that you use to purchase the software. It's the same email address you had to use to download the software. So go ahead and just enter that in there and then click register. And now the software is fully activated and installed on your Windows PC. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install the Insight Analyzer on your Mac computer. And now what you wanna do is click this green button to download the Mac version to, the, to my computer. So I'll go ahead and click that. And now we will see it downloading here and now we can open up the folder. I'm using Google Chrome, this will also work in Safari. And we go to the downloads folder here and now to extract the setup file which is contained inside this zip file, Simply just double click it, Automa it will automatically extract in the same location. Now just double click that image file, which is a disk image file, and it will open up and it will look like this. And what you wanna do here inside this disk image file is the Insight Analyzer app. Now you do not wanna double click it in here to try and open it. It won't work because it's still inside this disk image. We gotta get it out of here. So one way of doing that is you simply left click and drag this right over to the applications folder, just like that. So now we've installed it into the applications folder. Of course, you can actually just drag it right off of this into your desktop if you'd like to install it there if you want. So once you've done that, you're gonna click the little button here and get rid of it. And you'll also see a little icon appear on your desktop, looks like a hard drive. If you wanna get rid of that, just right click and eject. Now, if you go to your applications folder, find where you installed it and it's kind of off screen here but I'll click it you're gonna see this little warning message that comes up now don't be alarmed about this it's totally normal there's nothing wrong with my software and it's not malicious or anything like that in fact I coded the software myself from scratch and I always scan everything before I put it on the internet this is just a way of Microsoft being sorry not Microsoft Apple just being a little cautious when you're getting new software but don't worry about it if there's no possible way it can actually harm your computer so with that out of the way, all you have to do is click OK. And then in this particular Mac version, you click the Apple, you go to System Preferences. It may be a little bit different on later versions, but it's the same kind of procedure. In the System Preferences, what you want to do is find the Security and Privacy. You click on that. And then in here, you will see this little message saying Open Up Anyway, because it says it, tried to, it blocked it and it didn't want to open it up, but that's OK. Just go ahead and click Open Anyway and you'll have this little thing here. On later versions of, of Macs, you'll actually see, you might have to enter in your password for your Macintosh computer, which is totally fine. And you might, and this window here behind, you might have to scroll down to find this part. So, but you'll find it in the security and privacy settings. So click okay and then open up anyways. So it will open up. Now I'm just gonna jump over onto my MacBook Air, which is running operating system 14.4.1. Uh, just to show you what it kind of looks like there to do this procedure, and then we'll come back to this computer. It's okay, all you have to do is just click okay and come up to the little apple up in the corner there, and then go to system settings, and then you wanna to go to the privacy and security, and then just scroll down and you'll see um, it was blocked, but you just say open up anyways, and I'll have to use my password in this particular operating system. It's a little bit different in earlier versions. And then you just click open. Now the first time you open up the software, you're gonna to have to enter in your email address. And that's the same email address that you use to, to um, get the download links from the download page that you had to enter into the page there. It's the same one, so I'm just gonna put it in there and click register. Now the software is registered on your computer and you can go ahead and use it as normal. And the next time you get a new update for the software, you won't be required to go through the process of um, going into your privacy settings or anything like that. And, and you just simply put it right into your applications folder and it's ready to go. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Insight Analyzer.